I'd say the only way I could have opened this place is in a trailer. Um, just because of the, the capital involved with opening a brick and mortar is just, you know, for most people, isn't really there. I mean, the, the amount of money it takes to open a real restaurant, you know, with grease traps and all this stuff. And then, you know, you're paying rent on a place while you're trying to fix it up. And it's like, ah, impossible. Um, the aspect of the trailer was that I could buy the trailer, build it myself, buy a welder, build the smoker, build the trailer for that, and just kind of do it in my backyard until it was ready to open. And then just kind of, move the whole backyard over to some other place. Um, it's worked out great. I mean, it really is the only way this would have worked out. Um, unfortunately, the limitations are size, you know, because all the food's made in the trailer, you know, and then everything has to get served on that one countertop. They're like, why can't you move faster? Why can't you make more food? It's like, we don't have the room. You know, it's just like, and without giving, I mean, the only way to make it move faster or to make it more efficient is to, you know, lose kind of the banter with customers. You know, maybe some people aren't into it, but I mean, that's just, that's what we do. You know, we like talking to people. And it's nice to see people come in and actually be excited about food. You know, or like people like pulling out their iPhones to take pictures of like what's on the cutting board, you know? Like, oh, look at that, oh, oh, look at that. Like, that's exciting. I think it's really neat. The Shed Barbecue Trailer came about as kind of a, um, an idea to first open a shed here in general, uh, brick and mortar style barbecue restaurant. And uh, basically that's just not feasible for me. I'm an artist and a, and a musician and uh, I wanted a way I could still serve my barbecue and uh, be able to afford to do it uh, without having huge sales and also stepping into a market that was uh, way out of my bounds as far as uh, Texas barbecue is so different from Mississippi barbecue. I, I think uh, anybody that makes barbecue in a trailer here in Austin can relate with me as far as uh, it takes a lot of willpower and a lot of, uh, a lot of perseverance to have a barbecue trailer, it really does. And I've learned that uh, uh, really fast in the last two months of us being open. I think the trailer life in Austin is a beautiful thing because it basically gives people that have a great recipe that don't necessarily have the capital to open a restaurant, it gives them a chance uh, to show people uh, their, their food styles, you know. And uh, I think that's why the trailer uh, thing has exploded. And I think uh, that's the only reason why I'm open right now, really, yeah. is uh, the trailer is a way for me to be able to open with not a huge overhead. Uh, and see if people like Mississippi barbecue in the capital of Texas, you know. Welcome to the shed. What can I get for you?